All right, so today we're going to be trying to make the head of Five Nights at Freddy's. We're going to talk about the main character. Now, the main character has many different images. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Now, as you can see, you know, this is a typical rendition. Sometimes he looks a little different. Obviously, this is a cartoon, so it's going to be different. But <clears throat> what I'm noticing is sometimes the jaw looks different and sometimes his cheeks are a little different so we're gonna do the best we can this one they all these actually look all for, per, fairly similar but I've been looking at him and studying him and <clears throat> there are some different pictures that don't don't look the same I like the texture there okay anyways let's go back to designing this guy now at first I thought I would be doing a lot of spheres for this character, but it turns out the best way to do this is to work with um, the cube, but also to change <clears throat> this cube into, I don't know, more of a rounded shape. And how do you do that? Well, first of all, what we wanna do is change the dimensions. We're gonna make this 23, 23, and the other one is going to be 30. So let's just make that into 30. All right, fine. Now, this is where we get to play with this radius. You see how it's starting to make it a little more round? All right, that's not bad. Now, the thickness, I'm going to go with 8. Right now, it's at 20, so let's go with 8. <clears throat> this is what, what's going to be the lower half of his jaw. I'm going to keep it down here for right now. And the color is important, so I'm going to change the color to... Um, let's see, let's make that a light brown. Light brown. For right now, I might change it later. All right, so that's going to be the bottom half of this person's jaw, or Freddy's jaw. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the teeth... And he's got some very interesting teeth. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to hit the shift button so I can get a full 90 degrees. <clears throat> and the numbers I'm going to use for this one are going to be... Wait, am I selecting that? There you go. I want it to be, let's say, 4.5. And <clears throat> two. Now the height, that's gonna vary depending on how you make your model, but this one's gonna be eight. I'm gonna rise that up a little bit, raise it up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna change that to white so we know what we're actually dealing with. And he's got two prominent teeth in the front front of his mouth and then another one here let me duplicate this and move it up here maybe a little bit closer all right now these I'm gonna duplicate for later but not now right now I'm gonna duplicate this one and I'm gonna move that with the arrow keys over here because the teeth he has in the back let me move a little bit closer they're a little bit more rounded so or uh, more like molars, actually. So let's make that four, enter. And we don't want it to be as tall, so ju let's just make it six, just so we have a difference. Yeah, I'm not liking that too much. Let's raise it up a little bit. All right, that's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna duplicate this one and then move it over to here. That one looks way different. What happened there? Shouldn't we have that at four? There you go. And then a little bit higher. And I think that might be too tall. Let me move it back down. <clears throat> I'm gonna select both of these and duplicate. Let's move them over here. And I'm gonna mirror them so that they look like the other side. And there are some teeth. 
I'm not gonna add any more now. If I don't like the way it looks later, then I will change them. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna create the upper part of his jaw. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit, but I'm gonna change the dimensions to 15 by 20. First here, 15, and this one here, 20. Okay, that's not bad. Now I'm gonna duplicate it. Uh, why is it up there? <clears throat> and why? That does not look like a duplication of that. That's so weird. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna try this duplication. Maybe it will work better. Duplicate. And that one did work. So I'm gonna move it with the arrow keys. What I'm looking for is to create a little separation here in the jawline, because if you look at the pictures, not that one. Yeah, right here, there is that separation on the upper jaw, and that's what I'm trying to get. <clears throat> so, now that we have this, I'm going to group them, make them into one. All right, that's fine. Now I'm gonna move it over with the arrow keys or just like right there. Maybe actually, maybe a little bit higher. And the next part is to make the teeth right above it. So I need to make sure I have enough space. And also what I'm gonna do is select the bottom jaw and the upper jaw. And I just wanna make sure that they are aligned much better, although the teeth are a little bit off, so I'm gonna select those right now and try to make them move over to the right a little bit. And that one. Move it over slightly. All right, that's not bad. I'm also gonna change the snap grid distance to one, point one, sorry, just because I'm, I'm getting the feeling I'm not doing everything I possibly can to uh, make this go a little bit smoother. All right, well, that's not bad. So here's the, the easy part for me. I'm just gonna select this, select this, duplicate, and then just move them straight up. Now, as you can see, they're sticking up a little bit. So I'm gonna move them back. Oh, let's move them back. All right, there. And a little bit down. All right. Maybe I'll move this one and this one together. Wow, I dislike when that happens. I'll move them forward a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, these things are a little bit, let me get closer here, a little bit too close. Maybe this one right there. All right, let me zoom out. What do I think? Based on the pictures, okay, it's gonna have another set of teeth. Actually, I want these to be a little bit higher or a little bit closer to the edge. So, further up. And I'm going to duplicate and uh, have another one there. I'm gonna rotate a little bit, not in that direction. So let me get a better angle here. It's for the rotation, not that one here. 25 should be enough, but I don't want it to stick out that much, so I'm gonna move it back a little bit. And then I'm gonna duplicate this one and mirror it in that direction and then move it over here. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this one and rotate it some more that direction and put it right there maybe rotate a little bit more just want it to look like teeth from this side right there same thing on this side hard to see so let's back that up all right duplicate that one and I'm gonna move it over here and then rotate it this one should work 
be right there. All right, so there are the teeth. I'm not liking this one. It looks like it might be too far out. Let's try moving this tooth over there, that one over here. Thing is, this guy is not supposed to look handsome in any way, so the teeth should look a little bit off. And there they are, <clears throat> the teeth. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to get the, the back of the jaw, and we're gonna be using the same shape <clears throat> that we've used before, which is, uh, let's use this one. Actually, no, let's use this one here. I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna raise it up. But I'm gonna change the, the dimensions here. I'm gonna change the front to 31, and the side is gonna be 21, but also, I'm gonna change the height to 27. All right, now we have the big, and the thing is about the jaw, let me show you a picture of what I'm talking about. You see how it sticks out on the side? We want a little bit of that. So I'm gonna change the color a little bit because there's a difference of color between, <clears throat> excuse me, between the front part of his mouth and the back. So let me zoom out a little bit. Let me put that, that's, I keep forgetting there, that very sensitive thing. All right, let me move this back a little bit more. And I want the jaw, the bottom of the jaw to be aligned. All right, how is that? That is not bad. And some of you can start to see the character starting to come to life. I'm also going to be duplicating the head with this thing right here. So I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna raise a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. <clears throat> now the dimensions. I'm going to make the this part right here, 28 that's, and 28, not two. 28 one more time. There it is. Wow, it took a second or two. And this one, just a little bit more. Just 22 would be fine there. <clears throat> but the height... <coughs> excuse me. The height is going to be 51. That is a long, long upper part. And as you can see, it's not aligned to the back, so let's zoom in a little bit and I'm moving it with the arrow so that there's a little bit of the jaw sticking out on either side right there <coughs> all right so this might look like it's very big for what we're going for but what I'm gonna do now at this point is I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit because I want it to be a little bit bigger because in the pictures it does look bigger and I'm gonna change that to 12 there. I'm going to lower it a little. And let's see what we have here. Again, when you're designing something, it's not just about the numbers. There's also an aspect of how does it look? And I want more teeth here. I want them to be scary. I'm going to duplicate that and then move it back a little bit more. I want to cry when I see this thing more so than usual. So let's go on the other side and duplicate that one. I'm going to duplicate there. Control D. Moving it back with the arrow keys. All right. I personally, right now, I'm not happy with the way um, the side view looks. I want this to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to change this to 20, let's say 24. It's a little bit better. All right, 24. Okay. Now for <clears throat> the nose. If you look at the nose, there it is. It's weird. So I'm going to use the same shape and I am doing this on purpose. I do want to see how one shape can be used many times to make the same exact or to make a model. So duplicated that. I'm going to raise it up so we can go to the nose area. The dimensions I'm going to use for this one are going to be 12 and 12.
I can't really see it here, but it's moving up, I think. Is it moving up? It is not. So, oh, there it is. <clears throat> and I want it to look black. Now, one other thing, this his nose is not that thick, so I'm going to change that to... I'm going to move this at a different angle so I can see the bottom here. Change it to 6. And also, I'm going to be moving it down. And his nose is actually at an angle, so I'm going to rotate this 45 right there. And have the nose go a little bit further back. All right, now we're getting someplace. And... Now for the eyes. Now the eyes are where we're gonna start using a different shape. So we're gonna use a sphere that's gonna be changed to 12 and 10. And the height, forgot about the height, is gonna be 13. So let's change that to 13. All right, that's fine. Let's raise this up. Now the thing is, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna make a socket, a place for his eyes to go, right? Now in, <clears throat> in reality, you would just leave an empty space there. So when you're 3D printing, you can make this into a transparent item, right? And leave a hole there, and then put the eyeballs in after you've made the hole. That it's probably the best bet. And in fact, let's just do that right now since I don't want to skip that part later. So I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, and move it over a little bit. <clears throat> After this part, we're going to be making the eyeball. All right, let's look. Personally, not liking the height, so I'm going to move them down a little bit. That looks a little bit better. And the head, I want it to be a little bit more round, so I'm going to move that down a little bit too. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to put a uh, group this and the two eye sockets together. There. Now I have that. I'm going to make the eyeball now. And the dimensions are going to be, for this one in particular, it's going to be six. And that did not, let's move it back a little bit. Six, not doing anything. Uh, let's move it over here. Click, six, and <clears throat> seven. And the height, I'm gonna make it just, just eight. Hopefully that's enough. All right, let's move this up and let's get it closer to where we want it. There is good. All right. Now, you don't want it floating in midair. Otherwise, when you print, it'll just fall out. So make sure that it's actually touching the back of the head right there. We're going to change this to white. And I'm not liking this. I'm going to make it a little bit. I'm going to change the dimensions. I'm going to make it 8 and 8. A little bit better, OK? And is it touching the back? Yes, it is. It is connecting the back, so when this prints, it will not just fall off, even though that would be kind of scary. Let's go ahead and move this over here. And let's duplicate this eyeball, Control-D, and shrink it and make it. Actually, let's move it up forward so we can still see it a little bit. Okay, there's the eyeball coming out. Let's make it blue. Don't know exactly which blue he is, or his eyeballs are blue, in fact, so it's kind of weird, but let's move it up. And up again. There it is. Too big. So let's shift, and we're going to make this just five. And if you hit the shift, the five is going to be all the way <clears throat> around. It'll be five with depth and height. So let's move this over here. Oops, I adjusted that. Let me get a bigger, a closer view. That does not look the same size. I'm going to duplicate this using this button here because I tend to get more consistent results doing that. 
All right, let's put that right there. All right, so we're getting there. Now, <clears throat> one of the features where you have to know a little bit <coughs> of, um, uh, what's the word, design, and that's going to be the eyebrows. See, the eyebrows are gonna come from the, what's the one, oh, shape generators. And it's going to be this one here called extrusion. So you click on extrusion and it should work. Did it work? I don't see it here. Do you see it? No, okay, let's try this again. And for some reason, it's not selecting it. So let's try again. Whenever something goes wrong, you always try to find another way to do it. I clicked on it. Weird, I wonder if they're all going here. Let me move, nope, they're not there. Hopefully you're having a better time doing this. All right, well then let's work with something else. Oh my goodness, they all showed up all at once. What is going on here? Actually, I have a theory. <coughs> the theory is that <clears throat> when you start getting more complicated with your design, it kind of slows Tinkercad down a bit. So I think that's it. All right, so let's play with the dimensions here. We want it to look like an eyebrow. So I'm gonna move this one up, this one down. And again, there, there aren't any measurements here. We're just trying to make it look like an eyebrow. I'm gonna pull this one here and then I'm gonna move it up. And that's not bad, but wanted a little bit more of a curve right there. I don't know, it looks like a bean, but fine, whatever. More like an eyebrow. His eyebrows are actually kind of um, like arcs, circles. Okay, that should be enough. Now, as you can see, it's a huge eyebrow, but the actual dimensions we want the eyebrow to be are gonna be seven by four. So let's go ahead and click the seven in the front and four in the back. And let's move this up. Of course, we're gonna be tilting this. Wow, that thing is really, really long. We want this to go forward 90 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's move this over here. And unfortunately, it's so far away, it's hard to move around. Okay, there's one, and I'm sure some of you are like, that doesn't look right. Okay, so again, the dimensions are gonna be, now when I adjust these things, the dimensions change. I want that to be four. And I want the top part to be seven. So now I'll move it forward again. <clears throat> now, if you notice, the eyebrows, <coughs> they showed up a little bit at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the angle so that they reflect a little bit more of his, the, sh the shape of his head. But I'm at the same time, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. And then to the right. I just want it to be a line to the eyeball right there. Now, what I'm not liking is this loop up here. So I'm gonna change that. And I want it to be a little bit lower. Let's change the angle there. Let's move it. I don't like that part. All right, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna mirror it in that direction and then I'm going to move over here. And again, I just want it to be aligned over the eyeball. All right, that's not bad. Why did that one not change? So weird. All right, so we're almost there, we're almost done. Next, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be making the ears. The ears, but I'm gonna use it using the same thing I used at the beginning. I'm going to duplicate the jaw. So there you go, the jaw is gonna be, let's make it five by 11. That does not look very big. Oh, that's the height, but still then the, the height is actually gonna be more like five 
and that is not right. Let me undo that. It doesn't look good. It actually looked better as the jaw. I'm going to change this manually. And let's make this, for right now, let's just make this 15 by 15. All right, that is not bad. Let's uh, bring that in. Now, here's something that I want you guys to see very carefully because all I'm going to do after I adjust the height, I think I want that a little. No, let's just keep it at eight. I'm gonna duplicate this in place. So it's right there. I'm gonna make it transparent. Then I'm gonna raise this up. Now I don't like how, how it is right here. So I'm gonna hit shift and then I'm gonna move it in a little bit. All right, let's look at the top of this and let's zoom in. Look at the top. All right, so I'm gonna move this with the arrow key. I still don't like the way it <coughs> All right, so obviously Mr. Viega is being called. Um, I'm just going to move this over here because what I want is in, in the pictures, you can see that his ears are really like, like little saucers, like cups almost. And that's, <clears throat> that's what I want to have with this one here. So I'm going to, again, the numbers for this one in here. I got 13 and 13. The outside is 15 by 15. So let's see what the thickness looks like because when I group them, you're gonna be able to see how thick it is. And that is not bad. Now it's a weird ear, I, I'll give you that, but his ears are just weird. So let's go here, let's focus on that. And the color needs to be the same, so let's change the colors. There you go. And we're gonna rotate this, because his ears do not do that. Shift and rotate. And then we're gonna move it up. Now, if you haven't noticed, these ears are huge and his head is not. So honestly, his head looks kind of narrow. So let me put the ears to the side for a little while. I'm gonna make his head just a little bit wider. Actually, let's make the jaw wider first. That's the lower part. Let's just make that uh, 40. <laughs> 40 all right I prefer that size and because of that let's make his upper part 38 upper part of his head there now as you can see we're already messing with some design choices we made earlier I don't like uh, 38 so let's go 35 35 looks a little bit better all right Move the eyeball over here a little bit. And got to make sure it's touching. Got to make sure it's touching. The eyeball over here, the eye and the ball right there. And the back a little bit. This eyebrow needs to go a little bit more. Oh, did not click on the eyebrow. This eyebrow over there. This eyebrow to the left. I'm going to move. I should more, include more of the teeth too. Again, I'm just adjusting it, but if you like the way it looked before, feel free to keep it that way. I'm gonna move it over to the right. There you go. That looks a lot better to me, except this bottom part right there. Okay, now the ears look a little bit better with this guy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them at an angle. Now, if I were, let me just move this out of the way here. Okay, whoa. The angle is more like this, and then out. All right, there's that one, and I'm gonna duplicate this here, and then I'm going to mirror in that direction, and then, well, that is cute. That's not what we're going for. Right there, I'm hit, holding the shift key so that it doesn't move in any other angle. Now the ears, personally, I think they're too big, so I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. Instead of this, let's make them 55 and let's see what that looks like. That's better. Now, <clears throat> I've seen different variations of this. If you want, you can, you can do this if you like. I'm going to leave it the way it is, but I've seen and I see in different pictures that this guy actually has 
holes right there and then something sticking out like some sort of cylinder sticking out connecting the two because he's supposed to be animatronic so a robot <coughs> but i'm not going to do that i'm going to move this over a little bit okay so now i'm going to make a top hat very quickly it's going to be black of course and it's going to go down to let's just make that four and let's move it move it over here and up again his top hat his top hat is a little bit off i'm going to duplicate this make it go oops make it taller and i'm going to hit shift and i'm going to bring this in to let's try 15 15. Let's just hit the number 15. All right. Now I'm going to align these two. Use the align key. I want them to be lined up this way and that way and that way. And as you can see, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay because that's part of the process. <clears throat> Put the hat on his head. Now here's the thing. His hat actually is tilted down a little bit it's like at an angle like he's like yeah that's right i'm cool nothing you can do about it all right and i'm going to change one last thing and that's the eyebrows i'm going to make them black like his soul and for the most part i'd say we're done you know what it's just not the same without this last detail just not the same without this last detail and i think some of you who are fans are like oh yes he needs that detail I'm going to make that into, I think, 5 by 5 when I did it the first time. It was not bad. I'm going to bring in this thing right here. I'm going to rotate it 45 or oh, 90 degrees, actually. And the thickness should be more like, um, let's say, 5 again. <clears throat> I'm going to change that to black. Uh, control Z. Let's move it over here right next to this. Some of you already know. I'm going to get a lot closer here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna raise this up. Uh, uh, not aligned, so let's just align it shortcut. And let's align there, align here. I think that's good, but need a little bit closer. And duplicate this one, the triangle. And then I'm gonna mirror it this way and move it over here. I'm going to hit the shift so I can move this without any problem. And I want the ball to be a little bit bigger, so let's change that to 8. That's not bad. 8. And there should be one more 8 somewhere. Oh, not aligned. All right, the height. That's the 8 I was missing. And now move it down a couple right there. I'm going to align these because they do not look aligned. We want it to be aligned here, there, and we'll call it a day. We'll move this over to test. Oops, come on. All right, that's going to be one object because I'm going to group them. And of course, you guys all know where this belongs because it's under there. So let's go ahead and check out this guy right here. And now you have created your monster. Congratulations. Enjoy.